Oh, I got another idea of speaking. Why you should stay your whole year in Sydney and not travel. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Are you wondering what city you should live in when you go do working holiday visa in Australia? I was thinking the same thing. Fortunately, I had already been to Australia a few years earlier and I can compare different spots to go to and I want to fill you guys in on to what I think is the best city to do your working holiday visa in. Today's video we're going to talk about my five top reasons why I think you should pick Sydney as the city you move to for your working holiday visa. So let's jump into it. So Australia is a beautiful country and it is a massive country with many different climates of places to go live in. When looking at where you want to live, you really want to look at your own lifestyle. For me, I really do enjoy nature, but I also enjoy the city lifestyle. So that's jumping into topic number one of to why I chose Sydney and that was the geography. For me, Sydney has amazing geography in the aspect of a great CBD, central business district, as far as by Circular Quay and the Opera House in that area, also by the Harbour Bridge as well as it has the eastern suburbs by Bondi Beach and the northern beaches up by Manly and going north from there. So you really have a good mixture of that ocean lifestyle with the headlands getting a little bit of nature as well as the cityscape. And for me, and I think probably for yourself as well, it really kind of is the best of both worlds. So the second reason why I chose Sydney was the weather. I wanted to go to one of the two bigger cities where kind of more of the action was happening. So I was looking at Melbourne and Sydney. Now Melbourne has four climates in one day, if you will. It could be kind of raining, snowy in the morning, if you will, depending on the winter time. And then it gets a little bit warmer later on. I didn't want to really deal with that. So I wanted to choose Sydney. It was more of a temperate climate compared to Melbourne. Yes, you're going to have a little bit colder in their winter time, June, July, and August and you're gonna have a good amount of rainstorms coming through in that February, March, April time frame. But otherwise, it's fairly temperate climate. So the third reason why I chose Sydney, Australia for working holiday visa was the flora and fauna. You might be saying, what? You might be thinking, hey, I just wanna work and I wanna go party. But there is something to be said about when you're walking to work, seeing rainbow lorikeets, which are gorgeous birds, or the magpie, which is one of the most intelligent birds out there. You might see a kookaburra. Do you even know what a kookaburra is? Or you might even see some of the cockatoos. They're all over the place. So that was something I really didn't know about going into it, but I was pleasantly surprised to see those birds on the regular. As well as being able to get out on day hikes kind of throughout the city's headlands there, it really added to the ambiance of living in a concrete jungle, but also having nature so, so close. The fourth reason why I chose Sydney for working holiday visa was the lifestyle and kind of the people and culture there. Yes, Sydney is one of the bigger cities in Australia and one of the more densely packed cities as far as the amount of people, therefore you have congestion and higher housing rates. But if you like the hustle and bustle, again, mixed with the ocean lifestyle, you can't pick a better place to go live in Oz. I really enjoy talking to the locals there, getting to know them and kind of comparing the US and Australia, what that looks like. And again, as most people would say, Aussies are more chilled out. They're not as kind of go, 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 go. Yes, they have the hard work ethic, but they also like to go enjoy themselves, take vacation, go out for a surf, and just enjoy lifestyle. And that was a cool experience coming from the American New Yorker perspective to go over there and see what that looks like down under. So the fifth reason why I chose to go live in Sydney for working holiday visa is the dinero, the money. Obviously, when you live in a bigger city, there's gonna be higher expenses, but you usually can make a better wage. I chose to go work in retail for Lululemon because I've done that in the States before and it was an easy transition. But I have many other friends who work in the bar industry, the restaurant industry, and also work in construction. And mind you, in construction, you can make up to $40 an hour. And sometimes even between the high 20s to mid 30s around there, I believe, for kind of waving a flag and making sure people don't go in the construction zones. So there's a lot of things to do as far as jobs go there. But I would say that you can make a decent livable wage and also have enough free time to go enjoy yourself. Hey everybody, thanks so much for making another video here today. Hopefully you really enjoyed the five top reasons why I chose Sydney, Australia to stay for a year 
and do my work on holiday visa down under. There's so many great places to visit in Oz, but if I do it over again, I would go stay in Sydney for another year, and then I'd probably go travel further beyond from there. I really do think Sydney has the best of many different options. It really is a good blend of lifestyle, and it's a place that I would consider living long term if I didn't have family back here in the States. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope you see you in future videos, and until then, do not forget to explore more. Oh,